So my Milwaukee transfer pump, the 2771-20, ain't working no more. I've probably used it about two dozen times. So I'm going to pull this thing apart and see what's going on. Okay, so I just took it apart. It has a bunch of these T20 screws and one T10. A little pin that goes through this little hatch back here. So I pulled it apart and uh, started looking at it. And you can see corrosion, corrosion, anything that is not galvanized or aluminum has corroded inside of this unit. Um, so I had to undo the little screw that was holding the board in place and pull this out and unplug it. So these two little guys here plugged into this fuse. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. They have a fuse in here. Well, that fuse is blown. So I am going to pull that fuse out and find out what, uh, what size it is. Because uh, it seems like this guy leaks, and that's where it's all coming from. That that little gasket back inside of there lets water leak out between there and run all down into the electronics. So, yeah, seems like just bad engineering. And uh, that fuse was a simple way to protect the electronics in case uh, things got wet. So I'm going to take my needle nose pliers here, and I'm just going to yank on them. All right, so what do we got here? Let's take a look. All right, yep, it is blown. Blown to smithereens, and it's a 30 amp fuse. So that is pretty simple. A little 10 cent fuse. Anyways, it would have been kind of smart to make this user accessible if they knew that's a weak link. Um, so you don't have to pull this whole thing apart, but you know, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to go get a 30 amp fuse and plug it back in and see if this thing will fire up. Alright, so I'm going to plug in this new 30 amp fuse. Right. Now that we've got that in there, I'm going to try to uh, plug in a battery. The board is so corroded from water on certain parts that I don't know if this is going to survive all that long. Yeah, that's just not good. Electronics and water do not go together. Right, make sure I'm not touching anything. Ooh, smoke! That's not good. Started working there for a second, but uh, it's not supposed to smoke like that. Okay, well, that was really weird. Nothing was contacting anything, from what I could see. But when I plugged it in the first time, it puff of smoke everywhere. Um, I, I don't know. I do not know. 30 amp is still okay. It's plugging along, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this thing back together and just not hope for much. The button still works. So at this point I have no idea what smoked, why it smoked. Everything's working as it should. So the fuse was the only issue. Uh, well, sort of. Um, if you look up in here, there's like this magnetic kind of hula-majig that seems to be broken. I, I don't even know, but it's like flaking up. You see this little piece? Come on, camera. That right there is part of some magnetic thing on the inside of there. I have no idea, but it is... It is corroding and coming apart. All right, guys. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps someone who has this unit that it stopped working. You can just pull it apart, take some of the screws out, pop it apart, and uh, change that fuse. Um, yeah. Okey doke. Bye bye.